It was a typical New England summer when the Johnson family moved into their new home, a grand old house that stood on the outskirts of a small, quaint town. The house, with its peeling paint and creaking floors, seemed to have a character of its own. As they unpacked their belongings, the family couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about the place. The walls seemed to whisper secrets, and the shadows danced in a way that sent shivers down their spines. The children, Emily and David, found an old dusty attic at the top of the house. Inside, they discovered an ancient journal filled with cryptic drawings and eerie writings, but they dared not share their findings with their parents, fearing they would be scolded for snooping in the forbidden attic. As the days passed, the family noticed strange occurrences. Whispers echoed through the halls at night, and peculiar symbols appeared etched into the woodwork. The townsfolk spoke in hushed tones of the house's dark history, warning the Johnsons to leave before it was too late. But the family brushed off the warnings, attributing the odd happenings to stress and fatigue from the move. One moonless night, a storm of unnatural ferocity swept through the town, unleashing a torrent of rain and lightning. The family huddled together in the living room, seeking comfort in each other's presence. As the storm raged on, the house itself seemed to groan and writhe, its very timbers pulsating with otherworldly energy. David, unable to resist the pull of curiosity, ventured into the attic, drawn by an unseen force. There, he found the journal once more, its pages now filled with eldritch symbols that seemed to writhe and twist of their own accord. As he gazed upon the arcane script, a voice, ancient and evil, slithered into his mind, promising knowledge beyond mortal comprehension. The following days brought a palpable sense of dread that hung heavy in the air. Emily and David's behavior grew increasingly erratic, their eyes taking on a vacant, haunted look. Their parents, too, felt the insidious influence of the house, their dreams plagued by nightmarish visions of unspeakable horrors. The townsfolk, now avoiding the Johnsons like the plague, whispered of dark rituals and unspeakable pacts that had tainted the very foundation of the house. It was said that the house itself was a living entity, a malevolent presence that fed on the souls of those who dared to call it home. One fateful night, as a blood-red moon loomed in the sky, the house's true nature was revealed in all its horrifying glory. The walls were undulated like the skin of some colossal beast, pulsing with a sickly glow that cast twisted shadows across the rooms. From the depths of the house a primordial terror stirred, a writhing mass of tentacles and eyes that defied all mortal comprehension. The family, now mere puppets in the house's arcane machinations, found themselves drawn inexorably towards the heart of the living nightmare. As they descended into the bowels of the house, reality itself seemed to unravel, giving way to a maddening labyrinth of cyclopean corridors and alien geometries. In the heart of the house, they beheld a sight that shattered their fragile sanity. A grotesque amalgamation of flesh and wood, pulsating with an unholy vitality that defied all reason. The house had consumed countless souls over the centuries, its hunger insatiable, its malice unyielding, in the end, only whispers remained of the Johnson family, their fate forever intertwined with the living house that loomed ominously on the outskirts of the town. The townsfolk, haunted by the tragedy that had befallen the newcomers, spoke in hushed tones of the cursed abode, warning all who would listen to steer clear of its malevolent embrace. And so, the house stood, a silent sentinel, waiting patiently for the next unsuspecting victims to cross its threshold unaware of the unspeakable horrors that lay dormant within its ancient walls. In that desolate place, the line between the living and the dead, the real and the unreal, blurred into a nightmarish tapestry of cosmic malevolence, forever etching its dread-filled legacy into the annals of time.